What's up, everybody? This is Jesse Schobel, drummer of Cast of Stone, and uh, we have this song here, As the Dead Lie, and uh, this is the playthrough video for it. And I figured it'd be cool to just kind of talk about the drum parts of the song, uh, you know, what went through my mind when I was coming up with some of the stuff and why I did what I did here and there. Something that's important, uh, always something I always think is interesting when drummers talk about, you know, so. Uh, I guess I'll play the song here and kind of go through it on the fly and we'll see how many things I can rattle off as we go. Nice easy intro. Kind of changed up the intro a bit over time. Of course you gotta kick it off with the nice tom hits. Come in on the crash cymbal. I like a big I like a nice big crash cymbal for parts like this so it can kind of just ring out. Not too busy on the kick. Throwing some triplets there. Andy's vocals always get me pumped up when they come in. Lock this one for a bit. Usually I close my eyes when I play this group. And the intro to kind of the verse. Go with kind of like a D beat feel almost. Almost kind of punk rocky. Not too many things going on in the hands. Do a little fill, easy fill. That time, snare, tom tom. Intro lead in with the double bass introduction. The one kind of fast fill I do the whole song. I usually like to play these kind of parts on my other hi-hat because it's like easy to open up and play these kind of heroic beats. Switch to the ride for the tail part of the verse. A little hi-hat in there. Rip that off from Jimmy Chamberlain and uh, a couple other drummers. Back to the easy beat. This fill coming up right here. I wanted to use a closed hi-hat in a fill somehow. Ah, yes. It just pumps me up every time I do that, and then I instantly start playing the upbeat China. I don't know why, because it throws on me. Let's go play again. Take a breather. Not for long. So this part, originally I had kind of a lot more going on, and I was like, you know what, it's unnecessary. I should just go for kind of like an upbeat ride vibe with nifty little syncopations on the left hand. The last one there, I matched the simple part for the rhythm. This part's kind of a deceivingly simple tom part where I usually like to evolve it between the different toms. Throw the open hi hat in the middle of that fill because it's just tight. Back to the hero and beat, which just can't really go wrong. It's just kind of like lay into this beat, it really drives the drives the riff. Play on the ride and hi-hat in the tail. Now the big double bass part. I usually will go to the upbeat China on this part as well. Little thingies here. Tricky little syncopations. Help beats on the open, open hi-hat over here. And then this part, you know, the opening riff comes back, but it's slower, it's a little more groovy. It's also kind of fun because it's kind of getting to the end of the song, so you're like, more, most of the tricky parts are done, so at this point in the song, you just kind of like let it ride out and rock it out, and it's always a blast, this tom part. Just slams every time. A little cymbal mute in there. The very end of the song, I throw a did it. And we are buried. So anyway, yeah, that's the general general approach. Nothing too tricky, just kind of like a straight up rock jam. No complicated fills, but developments of fills. Sometimes I do just the snare and hi-hat, sometimes I do toms and splashes, and uh, just kind of remember how to develop the part and keep it interesting for uh, me and for whoever's listening. So if you made it this far, thank you very much and uh, hope you like the EP.